Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the structure variable. We had seen that actually you can define or initialize a structure variable in two ways. Either within the structure uh, syntax itself or into the main function. So today we are going to start up onto another new session and we are going to talk about the structure member. How can you access the structure member? And in that particular journey, we are going to define what, how can we actually uh, access uh, a structure member, its syntax, and finally we are going to look at its implementation. So let us start on that particular journey and see what happens onto it. So, uh, when you're talking about a structure member, uh, how it can be accessed, actually we have seen that structure member can be accessed and assigned value in virus way. So the virus way actually to do that. And uh, there is a memory allocation when a structure it is defined. There is no memory allocation until when actually we assign or we define a structure member. And then after assigning up a structure member, uh, actually we are supposed to do what? We are supposed to access in order to see what happened. So basically there are two ways. Two ways of accessing uh, the structure member. And these ways, basically, one is you are to using up what you call a member operator. So the first one is using a member operator, which has got a sign of a dot. And the second way is actually using up a structure pointer operator. So here we have got what you call a structure pointer operator, which has got a sign of uh, uh, of pointer is called a sign of a, a pointer. So basically, that is uh, will take us into the definition of it. So how do you define it, and what how is its def uh, how it is actually its syntax? So basically, when we are talking about the syntax using up this two particular method. Okay, so here we'll have our two syntax, and basically, when we're using up uh, uh, the pointer operator, so here we'll have our two syntax one basically using up the pointer operator or, or what you call a member operator. So, one of them it is using up actually the member operator, and another one is using out what you call up a uh, a pointer operator. So one will use up a pointer operator and one will use up the dot operator or what we call up a, a pointer, the member operator. And the syntax is very simple and straightforward. We are writing up uh, the uh, variable name or the structure variable name and then we'll have our dot here, and then we'll have our member, the structure member. For example, here, it's a very straightforward. Let's take, for example, our variable name is called person, and our member function is called salary. So that is how, actually, uh, uh, the syntax, how it looks like. When you come up to a pointer operator, it's also very simple. Here you will have what you call the pointer name, and then you will have the pointer operator, and then accessing up a member. For example, the same example what we had here, we'll have our pointer. Then that particular pointer will be accessing our salary. So basically, that is how it is done. Let's go now to Dev C++ and see how we can actually demonstrate the two methods of accessing 
upper structure member. So before even you can start, we have to declare uh, here um, our structure. So here basically our structure will have upper structure called person. And in that particular structure, basically what are we supposed to do? In that particular structure, we define some members. So I have here char name. And in that particular name, I'll give, it's an array, I'll give up a size of 30. And then basically I'll have int age. So that will be my structure. So after having that particular structure, now let's define a structure variable. So here I'll have up a structure. Uh, which is called person and then my structure variable uh, I'll have two of them I'll have one as a pointer call it ptr and another one I'll have as an info and then after that I have uh, actually to assign uh, the pointer so the ptr I've assigned it to the address of our info and then from there, now I'll start up uh, uh, to give up my my uh, my program. Basically, my program I'll tell uh, print f, and in that particular print f, basically what am I saying? I'll say enter your name, enter name. So after entering that particular. Uh, enter name after entering that particular name what do you want to do you want to capture it so let's capture that particular name using up a scan f so we'll have up our scan f and basically in that particular scan f uh, since the name is uh, type so we'll have our type there so our type will be percentage s and uh, here basically it, this is how we are going to capture it uh, using up an ampersand and using up an ampersand uh, basically we are saying our info dot okay let's continue so here we are getting it up uh, info dot and then here we are getting up our name so info dot name and from there uh, we are moving on and here we are saying now print f. So we're putting up a print f. And basically, what are we saying here? We are saying now uh, to enter a print f, enter your age. So here we are telling uh, enter age. And on that particular age, Basically, we're using up a scan f, and into that particular scan f, we are seeing up our age. Actually, is data type uh, uh, integer. So here, basically, we can use up our pointer to point out uh, to age. So basically, here we can use our pointer to point to age. So that is age. So now here, basically, we're using up the second method. And then uh, from there, after we've captured everything, now we want to display. So print f, print f, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed now to display. So now we are saying displaying the information. So basically, here we are just displaying the information. And uh, now, after displaying the information, after capturing them up there, we want actually to access. So how do we access them? You're just writing up our, our printf and into our printf. Basically, what are we saying? We are saying the name, uh, the name basically, so that particular name is of data, uh, data type, a string, so that particular name data type strings so we'll have that percentage uh, string and uh, basically 
what what we are trying to say it is uh, at the end of the day that it is a string type and uh, we are saying info so we are accessing up using up our info so it will be our info dot the name so basically that is how you access it and then the second way of accessing will have our print f and we are using up uh, uh, the pointer operator so our age so here we'll have uh, uh, basically our age and in that particular age what we are trying to print uh, uh, basically it is uh, so we'll have up uh, our age and into our age it is what data type it is actually an integer data type so it is percentage d as an integer and basically we're using up a pointer to do that so here basically we'll have our ptr and then we're using up a pointer operator sorry we're using up a pointer operator and we're accessing our age so basically uh, we have actually demonstrated using both the dot operator and the pointer operator to access so let's see uh, the output of this particular results and see what happens so let's run this particular program and see the output so when we run this particular program actually to enter our name we enter our name as abdul rahman and prompts us to enter our age so age there we enter 40 and actually saying display up information and the name is Abdurrahman and the age actually it is 40. So basically that is how we have demonstrated uh, into uh, how to access up uh, a data structure and uh, for now we come up to the end of this particular session until into our next session whereby we are going to talk about structure as a function argument. So for now, I just say bye.